Hello people of the verse and welcome back to the channel, it's the Radicator and in this video today we are going to talk about, well, what could perhaps be the aftermath of that long lawsuit between Crytek and Cloud Imperium. Yes, I don't know if you remember for a couple of years, Crytek and Cloud Imperium were at it in tribunals, unfortunately, uh, you know, in court. And uh, it appears that we finally know why this lawsuit has finally come to an end. This is a story that was reported by uh, Massively OP. I'll put the link of this short article in the description down below in case you also want to check it out by yourself. It's actually quite short, but something that I think has been overlooked by quite a few people. Uh, quite personally, I had no idea about uh, about this and I find it a little bit surprising and not so surprising about uh, quite quite honestly. So let's go over it and let's see uh, what they say here. I quote, and apparently this is from the financial reports of 2019. So we were all supposed to have uh, read that right? <laughs> in, theoretically, in theory. So they say, during 2020, CIG further strengthened its position as a AAA game developer by acquiring a perpetual license for CryEngine from game development platform provider Crytek GmbH, ensuring the business continues to be agile in developing its revolutionary technology. So there we have it, guys. Apparently, Apparently, uh, CIG now has a perpetual license to use CryEngine, which is very strange because people would say, but Irad, CIG is not using the CryEngine, CIG is using the Lumberyard Engine, which uh, is actually uh, belonging to Amazon and not Crytek. Yes, but the Lumberyard Engine uh, is deriving from the CryEngine itself. Uh, originally, CIG was using and the cry engine and uh, there are apparently still some bits of you know from my understanding at least a uh, lot of legacy code from the cry engine some like and, and of course the lumber yard engine also has some code from the cry engine so crytek was saying hey you know uh, you are you are not using the cry engine but you are using code from the cry engine i used to use the cry engine before you say you don't use it but in your game there are codes from the cry engine you know that's what uh, they are saying. So apparently, what I think is that this is the way, uh, this is the agreement that CAG and Crytek have found to settle their differences, in my opinion. So uh, I really would like to know actually how much now. That's the thing. Uh, the article did not say, so I guess we will have that in the financial statements for 2020 because they said that this is something that they did during 2020. I really wonder how much that perpetual license for the CryEngine engine uh, is uh, is actually did cost CIG because this is uh, again a worry I was hoping that they would be less expensive in 2020 and we know that 2019 was a record year for CIG in, in terms of income but unfortunately also in, in terms of expenses as well with a deficit of about 10 million dollars I was hoping that you know in 2020 because of the lockdown then that it will be you know it was a year basically was slower right there would possibly be some uh, lower expenses you know no citizen come for example that thing also is very expensive but uh, seems like this maybe uh, would not be the case if that perpetual license is um, is expensive please if you guys have any idea about uh, what could be the the price for a perpetual license for the cry engine if you guys have any knowledge you know in game development please also let me know in the description down below this is really definitely something that i would be interesting in figuring out well that's all for this uh, very uh, short video guys i wanted to report about, uh, on, on that in this channel so that you guys also uh were or could be you know possibly aware of this you know spreading the word right i think it's also important to know what's going on also behind the scenes not just in game not just what cig is telling us but also what is happening uh, behind closed doors and uh, yeah it seems like uh, this was the settlement for that dispute anyway guys that's all for this short video thank you very much for watching guys have a wonderful day i'll see you guys tomorrow for more star season content this is the eradicator and i'll see you guys later this video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts at just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.